hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be coloring my hair this time i'm putting ginger in it instead of copper um so i'm excited and i love the way that it turned out um i took my braids out i had them in for a little bit over a month so we just got a braid out here i am going to section my hair off and then detangle each section pretty carefully So I am detangling my hair pretty slowly from root to end. I know you're supposed to go the opposite way, but I had some product buildup um, since I did have my braids in for a little bit over a month, maybe even close to two months. So I'm just detangling pretty slowly, um, trying to get that product out before I color. So this is how much shedding I got. It's pretty normal since I haven't combed my hair in over a month. So this is the color I use. It's the Ion Color Brilliance Permanent Brights in Ginger. And I'm just using this Clairol 20 Volume Developer. So if you watched my videos before, you already know how it goes. I mix it up and now I'm just gonna let y'all watch me apply it. Um, I'm not a professional hairstylist, so I'm just winging it, um, and I'm only applying it to the section that I want to color, which is the new growth. I'm really not trying to put any extra color on the ends um, because they don't need it. Okay, so uh, this is the color. She's cute, she's updated. I think the ginger definitely toned down the copper so it's not as like orangey. It kind of made it more pinky looking, um, which I like. It was just very much ginger like. So this Redken Acidic Perfecting, what was it, a treatment? Um, this stuff is so good. I used the shampoo and the conditioner that actually goes with that. Um, and I love the way that it makes my hair feel. It kind of makes my curls pop a little bit, especially after coloring and putting chemicals on it. I like to use something that's going to help bond my hair back together. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what it does, but it's good. <laughs> So I'm just adding as much moisture as I can to my hair before styling. 
um, I just want to make sure my hair is super moisturized because reds tend to dry my hair out pretty bad. Okay, so I'm just using the Patterns like mini styler kit. I'm using all four of the products. It's a hydrating mist, there's a styling cream, there's a curl gel, and then there's a strong hold gel. Um, I love to use this as a like, like set because it just makes my hair feel like super moisturized. Um, I actually really like the Pattern products. Okay, so it's the next day and I always love to see some shrinkage with some curls at the end because that means that my hair is, you know, not as unhealthy as it was. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, take the twists out. I feel like it was still a little bit damp. I did add quite a bit of product. 
So keep that in mind. If you got something to do the next day, you might not want to add as much product the night before. So I'm just trying to pick it and do the best I can, y'all. My hair, <laughs> she is looking very uneven. She's looking very like just out of place. I don't know. Y'all probably gonna like the twist out, but it's not my type. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching the video. Um, I wanted to show y'all my color because I do love the color. I just need to do better at twist outs, you know? And I mean, it was an okay twist out. <laughs> but thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video.